Well folks, as you can see, we are now back again. The handles that I pulled um, a short while ago, uh, three quarters of an hour ago or so, uh, have hardened off a little bit. Not a lot, we don't want them to get too hard, but just, just a little. And um, so, as you can see, I've already done a few down there on the bench and my handles are there in front of me. So I'm now going to go and pull, pull the remaining ones. And so, why don't you join me? I've got the, meanwhile I'm, I'm waiting to do them, I've got them here under, under wraps. Okay, so we're gonna take, take a jug here. Now, it's always a good idea when you're doing this kind of work to work off of a banding wheel, all right? For anyway, for the, for the attachment of the handle, all right? So what we're gonna do is dip our thumb in the water here and then with our thumbnail, scratch here, because these, these handles, here's one, they're gonna come off the top of the pot, you see? They spring off the top here. So, using our thumbnail and our, a piece of bit of water there, we're gonna make the slip just by scratching at the top there, okay? Now you don't need to do that. If you haven't got any fingernails at all, or you bite them, um, then you may have to find something to scratch it with. But you should be able to use your fingernail, just soften it, scratch it, wet it, create that slip just there. Then we're gonna put it onto the banding wheel. All right, I want you to see this. Let's just get the camera down there. Um, okay, you can just see it out of the screen there, down the bottom, okay. All right, we're then going to take the handle and the way to, the way to release the handle off of the board here, do not pull it by the tail, all right? Simply push it from the thick end here, just give it a gentle push and then it will, re will release and then you can pick the handle, okay? So when you've got the handle, Get some light here on the subject. When we got the handle, we're gonna hold it like that. And then I use my, my knuckle of my thumb, okay, pushing down onto the, the top of the wide end of the handle. And that creates a widening, a widening uh, at, 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 the, at the top here. Okay, it's now slightly wider. Okay, so we're now we're gonna take that, spit on it. <laughs> we're gonna offer the handle up to the jug. But I want you to do this with the jug, as I said, on the banding wheel. Okay, and just give it a little bit of gentle pressure, supporting it, supporting it with your fingers here, behind where you're pushing. Okay, so we're going to give it a little gentle pressure. And now, all right, with my index finger underneath here, I make the join. You see, like this. And my thumb on the top also making, making the join. At the same time, the handle is supported, okay? While you're doing that, you don't let the handle drop down. All right, otherwise it would get a weak point there. Okay, so we loot, I believe the word is looting. I thought looting was something to do with banks. <laughs> the loot, <laughs> and looting the bank. But anyway, you loot it like this, you see. When, you've, when you're happy that you've got it attached, you're going to dip it in your water pot and dip your hand in your water pot and you're going to start to pull the handle from from the from the picture like this okay 
all right so that's what it's looking like at the moment okay you just give it a couple of gentle pulls like that all right and now holding it by the end of the handle you put the handle back to the vertical position and as you do so supporting the handle you let the handle come round okay you make sure it's straight okay not going off one way left or right okay just give it a little gentle push and now the handle is stuck there okay in place at this juncture what you need to do is with your finger hold it up look through here and just get the shape right if it's if it needs a little tweaking all right now the next thing the next thing you do is finishing off this tail how are we going to do that well you what you don't want is to have wet fingers okay so if you're wearing an apron you just wipe it give it a couple of wipes on your apron all right and then holding the jug like i'm holding it like this you take it here all right and you just push the clay you smear it away like that so you, you push the clay take some clay with you and you smear it you see okay you take it like that one way and then again on the other side you push it going the other way okay so now you've got this little tail what do we do with the little tail we give it a quick flick off you come okay now you look at it just very hardly touching it again that's all you do okay Benito, Benito. Do you know my friend? Do you know my friend Benito? He's Benito. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Okay, let's get another one. I'm going to do this one. I'm not going to talk. Okay, we're just going to do it. Okay, so here he is. See, done. All right, there's not a lot of fuss involved. A lot of, you know, dib, 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 dab, dab, gotta give it a lick, gotta give it a sponge, gotta do all this stuff. You know, as you get better at doing it, you dispense with all of that because you, you develop a fluency with your fingers. Now, to start with, to start with when we're doing this, we're all fingers and thumbs, aren't we? We're all over the place. I was as well. All right. But you learn, you learn to work quickly and adeptly um, which is really you know, that's one of the that's that's the beauty of making things, handmade things like this repeatedly, is that you hone your skills, you develop them. You know what I mean? You you develop them. Now somebody who's never been a repeat thrower or or you know wouldn't know wouldn't know what that is. very important to learn how to repeat through
It's, it's where the life of the pot begins to grow from. Now these that I'm making here and doing, I'm going to be putting a seal on them, but not right now, at this, at this moment, because they are, they are too soft, because I'm going to put the seal right here on the corner, just where I've done the, done the, the, the base of the handle, and that clay is still too soft there. Okay, let's have some silence, let's listen to the cricket. Yes, okay. Make sure you're straight with the spout. The pouring lip here, make sure that is, is opposite. You don't want him going off at an angle. Otherwise he looks silly. <laughs> Very silly. Let's do one more. I've got quite a few more to do here. So we'll just do one more. Now get, get practicing, pull your handles, don't worry, the first ones won't be that good, don't give up, just determine, go back, have another go, keep practicing on them and they will get better, they will. very important that you support the handle, never let it drop down, okay, because it will bend there and it will develop a weakness. Okay. Let's bend him, let's, let's, let's do it now. This is, this is it, you see, holding him by the end, bringing him round. That's kind of the hard, that's kind of the hard part, that bit, just that last bit, you know? Knowing how big to let the handle to be, you know? Thing about a handle is, you see, you don't what you don't want when you put a handle on a pot and it's the pot is finished and it's come out of the kiln or or even before it's come out of the kiln. But when you're looking at at the at the pot, you don't want to have your eye drawn to the handle because the handle is so badly put on that it sticks out like a 
like a sore thumb with a great bandage on it. We don't want that, you see. Your eye doesn't want to be drawn to it, to the handle, any more than to, any, than to the, the spout or to the, 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 the general shape of the pot. It doesn't want to be drawn to, to it. So you've got to make the handle in such a way that it's functional and its beauty is integrated into the whole of the pot. That it doesn't, it's not trying to make a statement. Have you ever seen, you know, people, people love to make teapots that seem to be trying to make statements, don't they? The whole time. It's not trying to make a statement of itself. The whole pot is what we're looking at, and what we want. So, and that's, that's the hard part, to be able to, to make the handle inconspicuous. Yet, in, it, it, you know, it's functional and it's, in itself it's balanced, it's in harmony with the rest of the pot. A lot of, a lot of people, myself included, all of us in fact, when we start, we find it very difficult to, to judge proportion and balance and to know what fits, you know, but it's something we need to learn and, you know, it's all about, it's all about training up our, our sensibilities a little bit so that we can discern very easily and quickly what is the appropriate handle for a given pot. Or maybe it's a, it's a teapot with a spout. You know, to know, to be able to make it so it looks um, so it looks harmonious and so it looks in keeping, in keeping, that's, the, that's a good word isn't it? In keeping with the rest of the pot. So, so we continue here. I trust that you're continuing in what must be the oldest craft almost that's been in existence since man was here on since man was created since man appeared here on earth man needed vessels to contain and store one day around the fire somebody noticed in the morning when they were clearing up the fire that some of the some of the some of the ground on which the fire was had become actually fired and cooked and be become hard and brittle and they thought haha i wonder if you know and the rest is history isn't it Okay, folks, well, please visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, we've got a new T-shirt there. And, um, of course, the new, the new leech wheel in finished and kit form. Uh, we've got other tools there, sponges on sticks, throwing sticks. Oh, what else? Chamois leathers. I don't know, I'm just sort of adding bits and pieces as we go and um, and if you click on the workshop schedules we've also got uh, the schedules there for workshops for this month September and October so if that interests you please go there and check it out okay well it's a sign of each saying keep practicing see you soon bye bye